is such a weird place with my hair right now. I wish it could stay wet all the time. Because this is great. Like, this looks so... But it's like, as soon as it gets a little bit more dry than this, like, ugh, I don't like it. I feel like everything, everything about me <laughs> is in between right now. Like, I cut my hair, I'm growing back out. It's like, in between. I'm like... Yeah. And I think too, it's like this collective vibe because I've been talking to my friends about it and they feel the same way. I've seen people posting online about it, about just like not feeling like you resonate with anything. And I think that's a big symptom of being in an in-between stage. People are working towards something, but they're not quite there yet. And you kind of still have some leftover things to deal with from the stage you're moving on from, even though energetically you feel more aligned with this new space. To keep it a little less abstract than that, I'll give you a better example. This past year, I've changed a lot, doing a lot of work, a lot of healing, there's a weird stage that I think lasts longer for some people and shorter for others. And a lot of times you only hear about the shorter version so that when it's taking longer, it's like, what's wrong with me? Like, what's going on? Inside, I've made a ton of progress. But then physically, there's like a delay between the time that you put the work in energetically and the time where you see it in front of your face, like the results of what you've done. That can be very stressful. I don't know if stressful is necessarily, it can be very discouraging. You feel like you're doing a lot of hard work, even if it's not physical hard work. Like when you go to the gym, you put in a lot of hard work and then you see your muscles grow. When you do invisible work, it takes longer to see your muscles grow, metaphorically. I think I put a lot of pressure on being grateful every day, being positive every day. It is 100% helping me to be that way. Even when I wake up and I'm not quite happy with where I'm at, I still find five things at least that I'm grateful for, paying attention to my mindset. And when I'm in a negative space, I know I have to redirect that. But I think that I needed to leave a little bit more room to just be dissatisfied. You can't make progress without being dissatisfied first. There has to be a point where you're like, I'm not happy with this, this isn't working, so that you can figure out the next step. I like to skip over the part where I'm not happy and things aren't working and make that whoop, this short so that the good part can be this big, when a lot of times it feels a lot more like the I'm not happy this isn't working part is this big, the results you get from putting in that work are this big, and then there's more, like, you know, I wasn't letting myself get as deep into the discomfort. So I sat down the other day and I just dumped into my journal being like, I hate this, I don't like this, I'm unhappy with this, this sucks, this makes me feel like shit. Those negative thoughts that run around in circles in your head weren't there as much because I had let them out. If you're also in an in-between spot right now, it's okay. Results will come soon. There's something very valuable to be learned in the in-between too. Persistence. Dedication. <laughs> just giving like motivational halftime speech. The in-between can suck. Let it suck. Be grateful for what the sucking is teaching you. And know that things change. In any case, if you, if you break faith with what you know, that's a betrayal of many, 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 many people. I may know six people, but that's enough. Love has never been a popular movement, and no one's ever wanted really to be free. The world is held together, really it is held together, by the love and the passion of very few people. Otherwise, of course, you can despair. Walk down the street of any city, any afternoon, and look around you. What you're gonna remember is what you're looking at is also you. Everyone you're looking at is also you. Hey, today, today's a snow day. Wow. I didn't even know that it was gonna be a snow day. So my professor emailed us last night and was like, hey, school's probably gonna be canceled tomorrow. I was sitting in a cafe, my little book, my little headphones in. I didn't even wear a jacket yesterday because it was sunny, kind of warm. I look outside, the sky's like perfectly blue. I'm like, school's gonna be canceled. I look on the internet, I Googled, snow nyc and this comes up new york city braces for snow mageddon expecting 12 inches i was like what <laughs> like oh my god so thank god she emailed us because i would have woken up to snow mageddon very confused but regardless so yeah yesterday i was trying to have this whole 
I don't know, it was my day off, so I was like, I'm gonna go do a workout class and go to a cafe and read. So I got ready so early, planned before what cafe I was gonna go to. I did specific research because I wanted to find a cafe that I could spend a lot of time in. So I found one, it was so cute, plants everywhere, it looked huge. When I got there, it was literally like the size of my kitchen, like outstretched arms. That's how big this place was. I walk in, the counter, right here. I was like, I had to order because literally the woman was about to kiss me. So caught off guard. I ordered a coffee. I'm looking around. I'm like, do you guys have food or pastries? And she's like, no, not today. Not on Mondays. And I was like, as if it was like some known rule that like no pastries on Monday. Duh. Like, obviously. That's the way she said it. Like, it's Monday. I was like, okay. So now I have this freezing cold cold brew that I didn't even want. And my stomach is empty. And I'm like, okay, screw it. I'll just stay here for a little while. I'll grab something really quick before the class. That way I don't pass out and die. I get the coffee from the counter that was right here, okay? I grab it. I'm like, okay, thanks. I turn around. Wall. Like, I literally take two steps. Wall. That's it. That's the cafe. I was like, oh my god, there's no cafe. It's just a bar, basically. It's like a small barista bar. No cafe in sight. So I'm like, Next to me, there's a bench. There's a man sitting on this bench, but it was such a small bench that it was like uncomfortably awkward for two people to sit on it. So I don't know. I just freaked out. I sat down on the bench. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? He literally had his coffee sitting here. He had to like scoot his coffee over. Then he starts talking to the workers and I realized that like he low-key works there. So I'm just crashing this no pastry Monday closet cafe party. And I'm like, okay, I need to go. I need to go. I need to find somewhere else. There has to be another cafe around that I can sit at for a few hours. Because I got there so early. My workout class wasn't until 12.30. This was at 9.30. I was there, ready to go. So I walk outside. It's so cold. I have to like hold my coffee with my sleeve over it. Trying to search for a new cafe. Every cafe that's in this area I'm in is either there's no seating or it just, it's not appealing. You know, it's like one of those modern minimalistic cafes with like no coziness and like they have like boulders as the seats because it's like so minimal. I didn't want that vibe. I want a cozy grandma house cafe. It shouldn't be that hard to find, you would think. I had passed this something country bakery and it looked like a restaurant, but it was like a bakery at the same time. I walk in, there was like a huge dining room, but also a bakery counter. There's a server going around. There's only like three people sitting at these tables. And I'm like, I don't want to be at a restaurant. I just want to sit down at a cafe. Like how hard? How hard could it be? So I just go to a little bar to get something from the bakery. I don't know what to get. There's no breakfast food. It's just cakes and stuff. So I get a cupcake because I panic and I'm like, I'll just get a cupcake. I sit down. I'm like, okay, I'm running on an empty stomach. Now two iced coffees and a cupcake. And I'm about to go to a spin class. I haven't worked out in months. I haven't done a spin class in years. What's going on? I go to the spin class. It's so bad. <laughs> like I've I've done spin classes before, specifically with that place. It was so bad. It was so bad. If you've ever been to a spin class, the instructors at the top, they're telling you what to do, but they're also throwing in these like personal stories. So you're kind of like interacting back and forth. The thing she's saying is just like, what? Like it was just so weird. I just was like, the whole thing was just like, what? I just feel like a lot of my days in New York have been going like that recently. I don't know. I'm probably leaving in a few months. I'm gonna make a whole separate video about that. But I just feel very in between right now. Like I'm finishing up one chapter. I'm like halfway out the door. I just feel very, I just feel very like misaligned. The only good thing that did come out of it though, I had to fill the time because obviously the cafes weren't working out. So I just wandered aimlessly around into all these different places, but I needed a lip mask or a chapstick of some sort. I've been obsessed with this app called Yuka where you can scan the barcodes of different products and they tell you what the ingredients are and whether or not it's good. I scanned my Aquaphor, which is what I always use on my lips. It was so bad. The girl recommends me this. I lather on Aquaphor overnight. So it's kind of like a lip mask. So I was like, I need a proper lip mask. Came with a portable thing as well. Mm. It reminds me of the EOS vanilla flavor. I used to be obsessed with that. It's like a better EOS. I also got this handmade paper from Nepal. 
from Ganesh Himmel Trading. It's a really cool texture. It's like soft. I collect a lot of little knickknacks from my trips and stuff and even just like from living life. I'll collect train tickets, receipts, just random little things like that and I like to make collages out of them. Like I'll show you one I've made before. A whole bunch of stuff. Stickers, addresses from cards I got. I don't really know what to do with it now after. It's just this like poster. I should frame it, but this right now is my little working baggie of things. A Burger King receipt from Madrid. Museum tickets. Just my train ticket from Italy. I just didn't want to keep making posters of my things. So this is going to be my little collage knickknack collecting notebook. It's a snow day, obviously. I said that. So all my school's online. It's giving pandemic. So after class is over later, I'm going to sit down with my little knickknacks. And do this. I think it could be cute. I'm really excited about it. Mm -hmm. 